Okay. Um, welcome, everybody. This is um, okay. This is the first and the live broadcast from the Powerhouse Ministries and Apostles Mission. With me here is Apostle David of the Powerhouse Ministry. Is the presiding apostle over that ministry. And um, this is the very first broadcast we are doing, sir. Yes. <clears throat> and uh, we, we hope that this broadcast will bring about many blessings for the hearers and for the watchers that will be joining us. Um, I hope, Apostle, I'm correct, every two weeks. Yes, yes. Every two weeks. That's and, but yeah, by the grace of God. I'm we bringing about issues, subjects that bothers around the body of Christ and about the confusion in what people believe you know which affects how they get to live out the life of christ but um, today we are focusing on the birth of our lord jesus christ and for the next 20 or 30 minutes as time permits we'll talk about this issue and also discuss about the purpose and many other things that concerns it so apostle sir uh, what do you have to share with us today sir, about the birth of our lord jesus okay uh, let us pray before we okay, so. proceed. Okay. Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Our God, our Father, the King of kings, the Lord of lords, we thank you this day for what you have been doing in our life. We thank you for the ability and the grace you have given to us to be here this evening. Father, we say be thou exalted in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord Jesus, anywhere we have sinned against you, have mercy upon us. Amen. Forgive all our sins. Amen. Father, do so in the name of Jesus. Amen. We soak ourselves with the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. We soak ourselves with the blood of Jesus. Amen. We cancel, we destroy every worst of darkness. Amen. I gave this broadcast in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord Jesus, come and have your way. Holy Spirit, come and teach us. Amen. Every spirit that is not found in Jesus and in this vicinity, I ban them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every one of this program open in the name of Jesus. Amen. All the viewers and all the people that will join us or, or that will partake of this program, let them be richly blessed Amen. at the end of the day. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Okay, thank you, sir. I, I know that subsequently we also introduce we also introduce um, sessions concerning maybe prayer-based versions of this program and many others as the Holy Spirit gets to lead us. But sir, today, so what do you have to share with us about the birth of our Lord Jesus and what purpose is it that this kind of um, uh, event should be remembered? How should it be remembered? What is it that um, is ex expected of us during such a time when we remember that our Lord Jesus Christ is born or was born? We don't have uh, enough time. Okay. This is just introduction. We want to uh, remind, the, the, remind the, the viewer and the people the reason why we should celebrate the birth of our Lord Jesus. And what is the this the meaning, the purpose, the benefits that all of us should be expected at the end of the day? That is the reason why we are here this evening. The birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us go to the book of Matthew chapter two. Matthew two. For first one, two, that's one. Okay. Yes. Now, when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, "Where is he that is born king of the Jews?" For we have seen a star in the east and are come to worship him. Yes. When Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. 
when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he demanded of them where Christ should be born. And they said to, unto him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet, And thou, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, hath not the least among the princes of Judah. Yes. For out of thee shall come a governor that yes. shall rule my people Israel. Yes. Then Herod, when he had privily called the wise men, inquired of them diligently what time the star appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the young child, and when ye have found him, bring me word again, that I may come and worship him also. Let us go to Luke chapter 2, from verse 8. And there were in the same country shepherds, shepherds. abiding in the field, the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. Yes. And lo, uh, the angel of the Lord came upon them. Mm. The glory of the Lord shone round about them. Uh, and they were so afraid. Afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you this day is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find a babe wrapped in swaddling clothes. Amen. Like, amen. For unto you is born this day in the city yes. of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. The Lord. John 4, 42. And said unto the woman, Now we believe not because of thy sin, for we have heard him ourselves, mm. and know that this is indeed the Christ, the Savior of the world. The Savior of the world. Why do we celebrate Christmas? The people in the world call it Christmas. Yes, but we all know that is the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. The interprets are called Christmas. Am I right? Yes, that is what is being assumed. Even yeah. though the word Christmas cannot really be found in the scriptures. In the scripture. But the church generally, you know, have accepted that that day we should remember the birth. Our Lord, Jesus our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. Now, we want to look at why do we celebrate this birth of our Lord Jesus Christ? That Luke chapter 2, verse 11 said, For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. Jesus Christ is a Savior. He came to save us from what? From sin. When you look at the book of Isaiah, chapter 9, it says, He shall save his people from what? From, from sin. From so, if we are celebrating the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ, the question we need to ask ourselves is this Am I saved? <laughs> Which is the purpose? From sin. Am I saved from sin? In fact, if you want to look at it, the people that they're supposed to rejoice because Jesus Christ came to the head are the people who have been saved already. Are you getting it? Yes. There are the reason, the cause to rejoice that I have been saved. The purpose of this man came to the head and be achieved in my life. It's just as just like when you are you establish a business. You establish that business four years, three years, the mission of that business has not been what have not been achieved. Are you going to have are you going to have reason to be celebrating and throw party? No. <laughs> no. You won't do that because the, the purpose which you establish the business have not been met. 
Oh, so. Jesus is not making profit. Oh, Jesus is not making profit. He's not going. Parties. Say, one to two parties. If anyone do that, I believe the manager or the CEO will say, all of them, they are mad. <laughs> what are we celebrating on? Are you getting it? So, the joy of our Lord Jesus Christ is that already is in heaven. He's washing from heaven, looking at, looking at everybody. His own joy is that people that accept the reason and the purpose why he came to the earth and they live their life based on that purpose. If they are not saying, Lord, we thank you, that thank you or appreciation will be accepted. But a drunkard, a womanizer, a thief, I'm Robert. He's celebrating Christmas, he's rejoicing, and cause to come in worse. Many of them they will not throw another big party. They are, they, 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 you see a lot of beer, <laughs> alcoholic drink, women, they have engaged a lot of women that they will go and commit um, fornication with. All in the name of we are celebrating Christmas. Is that the purpose? So I don't want to talk much, but that is not the purpose, the reason why we celebrate Christmas. My viewer, if you are hearing me today, you are among of these people I've mentioned so far, and you, you are committing immorality every day. You are eating sins like rice. And you are celebrating Christmas, the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. You are just doing that in vain. Everyone did not recognize you. The church, that they are not bringing souls to Christ, so that the purpose which Christ came to the earth can be fulfilled in their life. And they are celebrating Christmas. They are doing all those things in vain. It's not recognized. You are a worker. You are living double life. In the church, you pretend like a born a great Christian. When you go outside, you become another person. And you are celebrating the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. It's in vain. Or you call yourself a child of God or a Christian. You are seeing the thing that is uh, doing this thing, that thing that are not, that are not scripture based. And you say you are celebrating the birth of the Jesus. What are you celebrating? You are deceiving yourself. You know that what you are celebrating your doom. <laughs> because he said that I will say, I will tell them that I don't know you, you workers of iniquity. Depart from me. And be cast into what? Into the air outer darkness. Outer, outer darkness. Is it a lake of fire or air fire? So, fire so <laughs> the purpose. Why would you celebrate the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ? The angel said, For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord, a Savior. And my save from sin, from worthiness, from life that is not please God. Am I saved from death? Internity, uh, internal death. Am I saved from worthiness? Am I saved from the life that is not pleased God? That I've been living before. Am I saved from different kind of things? Then lesbianism, uh, homosexualities, and etc. If we are not safe, if if you, you if you want to be sincere to yourself and discover that that purpose has not been met, then why are you celebrating Christmas? No I believe what you need to do is to, to on that day to be sad and be sober, asking to to. To forgive you all your sins and repent 
that day should be, should be for such a person a day of repentance. Repent from your old way and face the new life. Embrace the new life that he, he, he brought. So for such persons, that should be their, their yes, kind of celebration. The kind of their celebration. And for we believers that we are, we are, we are doer of his word. We need to shake ourselves to you. Then when we shake ourselves to you, be a time of reflection. A time of yes. We shake ourselves to you. Are we still standing in the right way? And then when we discover that we are still standing on the right path, then we give glory to God. Hmm. You know, sorry, Apostle. I I like the fact that you got to this checkpoint. You said, and uh, we should check and ask. I was standing on the narrow way, so to speak. Yes. You know, I remember the scripture talks about the fact that, okay, I think Apostle Paul talks about the fact that we are not of them that turn back into perdition. So it means it is possible for one to be saved. Yes. And then to lose that salvation. Yes, yes. Okay. Now, if that's the truth, now, how does one now do the check? And then, and then, I think our time checker is there. Yes. So, how does one do that check? How does one really know? You know, it's possible for one to have his own mindset of what it means to be saved. And before God, this person is not on that narrow way. It's possible for one to look at himself and feel, oh, since I'm not, I'm not committing any sin, I'm not cheating on my wife, but, you know, we, we look at it according to our own understanding. Yes. And then we give ourselves pass mark. I'm trying my best. God should be... Um, able to also give me a pass mark. And then, you know, the Bible says the ways of God is not our ways. So how does really, really one gets to be able to uh, know that this is the mind of God, or this is in heaven, this is my my records that shows that I'm on the narrow way. How does the Christians really know? Because it's it's funny. When, when, when a child of God or a Christian gets to look at himself and then he says all things are well and our time is almost up yeah we i think we have about three minutes. about three minutes left so you know that's another question that comes up in my mind how then does those people who have been born again before who have been walking the walk i think we have to stop here i think we'll continue next week